uh, here I am removing a lot of stuff because I'm actually trying to make a historical example. This is actually a commission based on historical examples in the museum. So I wanted to forge a little bit oversized so that I had really enough stuff to remove to get down to the perfect shape. Uh, I know that some people take issue with so much stuff when they're being done from a forged piece, but uh, in the case it's very necessary. You'll also notice I'm using a very warm belt, uh, and that's kind of two reasons. One is that I'm cheap so it now and I've got the absolute most use out of every belt I possibly can. And the other reason is that using a fresh belt, even a ceramic belt on fire scales like the stuff that coats this hat, uh, will destroy them. Um, the fire scale is many times harder than even the ceramic grip on the belt, and you'll blunt the belt really fast uh, running through some stuff. So uh, whenever I'm grinding on a uh, forged piece, I'll either use a warm belt or I'll take it to an angle around it first, which I can kind of see it, but to remove the worst of the scale. Uh, if you watch my sword building video, you will know that I use a Japanese stem to remove the majority of the sword scale before I went to grind it. And that's another one that you can use. or even a little less. It looks a lot faster because I have to, you know, video set up first time. 
you don't want to overheat your edge, so I'm constantly checking and then going back to the water occasionally. And uh, in a second here I'm going to change to a 240 grit belt, and that's basically the last belt that I use before I get the buffer. On most of my axes, um, it provides a stupidly sharp edge, and it's relatively easy to maintain, so uh, yeah. So there you go guys, my first ever uh, axe commission, I believe this is the first I've ever actually had commissioned from me, uh, and the first ever historical recreation. Now I, I didn't get it completely accurate, but the measurements are all exactly perfect. It's got a 7.5 cm uh, long blade, uh, it's 140 millimeters long, uh, it's got a 35 mil square pole, um, and it is... 35 millimeters thick at the eye, got tapering straight down. Uh, rather than tapering in sharply, it tapers as a long, slow taper, which makes it a quite a hefty axe. Uh, and something to be very clear, I, I know a couple of people are probably going to comment that this is too thick for woodcraft and stuff like that. This is a war axe. This is actually designed after an axe, which I'll put up right here. Hopefully that works. Uh, if it doesn't, then I'm going to have to pause right now. If I didn't have to pause, then uh, <laughs> hopefully I'm good enough at my, uh, at my job. But yeah, so it's actually a uh, piece from a museum. It's a Turkish axe from around the 16th century, and it's called a saddle axe. They used it in their saddle um, as a war axe from horseback, so they used to hit each other with it. And it comes in, this one's around just under two pounds, so probably like a pound and a half. Uh, so it's quite a hefty head for such a small little axe but that makes it all the better for smacking people with. Um, as you can see in the original photo, the pole was quite badly mushroomed um, and it didn't have chamfers on it. That was kind of my thing. I just put it on there because I thought it looked nicer. But um, yeah, otherwise, I'm really interested in the fact that it's got the Hudson Bay, Hudson Bay style notch, uh, like you see in a lot of fur trade era axes, which um, I didn't know was uh, common in the 16th century as well. So. There you go, but hopefully you enjoyed this. I'm not handling it, the customer is, unfortunately. I might have to make one of these for myself because I really like it. But um, anyway guys, if you want to support the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification icon to see when I'm uploading a next video. If you want to support the channel monetarily, you can through Patreon or Coffee, the links to which will be down below. You can also uh, PayPal me, I'll put my PayPal link down there if you really, really want to go that far. But uh, otherwise, guys, just share the video with your friends, hit that thumbs up button. If you have any suggestions or questions, leave them down in the comment section down below. I upload a video every Wednesday, and I have a live stream every Saturday, so make sure you check in and check back with us when I'm up uploading. So with that said, I am now really, really buggered, so I'm going to go inside. Have a good one, guys.